Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Dear friends, welcome back. So we are here for a demonstration of wing and tail combination. As I, as we have, as we derived in our lecture, we noticed that when we have similar wing and tail, identical wing wing and tail separated by a distance, assuming a minimum dawn wash, you no know, interference at the tail, we figured out the neutral point to be at the midpoint of the distance between aerodynamic center of wing and aerodynamic center of tail. That is what we have derived. So we are now going to prove that whether our derivation is true or not. So first of all, let me show you the configuration. So we have two identical rectangular wings, if you can see here. So they are about 2.4 meter span, okay, and a cord of. So you can see in the side view. So with a cord of 0.23 meters. So the aspect ratio is close to 12. No? So, and then this entire setup weighs about 1.8 kgs. Right now, so I, I just want to show you the aerodynamic centers of wing and tail. Okay. So, we have our friends here, Kiriba Karan and yeah, Kiriba, come here, Santosh and Prabhjit. So, some, Sampath and Prabhjit, yeah. So, he is Kiriba and Sampath who has made this model with the help of Prabhjit, yes. And yeah, Santosh also helped them. So, thank you, thank you for that. And I uh, will be taking their help to catch this model. Once we throw it, I am not sure whether we will be, whether this model is going to sustain the you know, first landing or not. If it sustains, then we will also demonstrate in unstable mode. Say if the CG is behind the neutral, when the CG is behind the neutral point. Okay. So say this is, uh, this is my 0.23 approximately. No, this bit curved, right? So. 0.23 meters is the cord. Since the, see, due to curvature, it is a bit more here. Now uh, we have figured out the aerodynamic center of the wing, or the first wing, let us say, is is at this particular joint. No? you can see this particular joint. So this is the aerodynamic center of this wing, and then the aerodynamic center of this tail is somewhere here. No? It is marked here, aerodynamic center of tail. So, so here, this is the aerodynamic center of tail. Right, so I am now trying to locate the neutral point, which is midway between these two. Okay, so can you help me to hold it from there? Yes, of course, there will be some inaccuracy. That's the reason why I'll take CG a bit more ahead of the neutral point as well as a bit behind the neutral point. This may not be so accurate because of these measurement errors. So place it on top of this. Yes, this is approximately 176. So one half of this 176, so 176 is the separation between AC of wing and AC of tail. So half of 176, how much? 88, yeah. So 88 is where uh, this neutral point is located. We have a marking here which is close to 88 uh, centimeters with respect to the aerodynamic, yeah, aerodynamic center of uh, wing. So, so that's a midway between these two points. So now. I will try to throw this out. Okay. Yeah. So let's check what is the current CG of this model. So I am getting inside this model. Okay. So this is this is slightly behind the neutral point right now. I would like to add some more weight so that it becomes ahead of it. It will go ahead of this uh, aerodynamic center, uh, the neutral point for this entire configuration. Oh. Do you have weight with you? Yeah. Yeah, there will be a lot of interference because of this no, strings, but still we'll we'll try to fly this model. Okay. So bring it back. So now what will be let me check the CG again. So this is definitely ahead of the neutral point right now. So this is somewhere here. I am able to balance this somewhere here. 
so ahead of the neutral point so now according to our so according to our derivation now the neutral now the cg is ahead of the neutral point it has to fly in a stable mode let's see whether it is able to or not right so kirva you may come front bit front so so if it if this model sustains the first landing then we can demonstrate in unstable mode as well how oh. it is able to right it's able to glide so i'll do tr i'll try to throw it again it's able to glide properly right so our derivation is correct right now it is just maybe 2 cm ahead of the neutral point for this configuration so we'll try one more time and then see okay is the angle okay so i'll try now to demonstrate in the unstable mode so uh, for that i need to shift the cg behind the neutral point so what i do is i'll try to take out this weights okay so and then and see where is the current cg location okay it's behind so this is where i am able to balance right now so this is the place where i am able to balance the model So, which is the current CG location? So, this is where the neutral point is. The my uh, index finger is pointing uh, pointing at the neutral point, uh, and uh, my thumb is almost close to the CG current CG, without added weights. So, which is behind the neutral point? Now, Kirva, I think, yeah, I'll try to throw this. So, now the CG is behind the neutral point. We behind the. See that. so since because of its inertia you can't see that flipping but still it is not able to glide properly so you can see that again we'll try to throw it again maybe when we drop it from a, big, a higher altitude you may, you'll be able to appreciate see yeah so it's not happening if the cg is behind the neutral point you can see it's not able to no fly in a stable mode okay so it is important for us to make sure that the cg is ahead of the neutral point and we also figured out that the neutral point for identical wings lies at the midpoint of their uh, midpoint of the separation of aerodynamic centers of the two wings right so now uh, i'm to, i'm on top of this atc i'm trying to throw this so we are now again flying it in a stable mode the cg is ahead of the aerodynamic neutral point here yeah okay done thank you